right, hello boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum, among other places. Anyway, uh, a user was having problems this morning with this Arlene here. So I'm gonna bring this in via transformer and show you a few things that uh, might apply to using other hair. So we're gonna bring in the hair transformer. You guys know, all know how transformer works, but uh, hair will, by default, usually comes in as cloth. And so some people say, oh, well, I'll just change it to hair. Well, actually, that will work if the hair isn't uh, shoulder length or longer. The reason that the cloth or hair settings don't work well is because the weighting on this, the weight that comes down here, isn't right when you first bring it in that way. So it's much better to bring it in as an accessory. Bring it as an accessory. Say OK there. And it will get all the textures properly. Uh, again, if the hair is shorter, if it doesn't come... Uh, any further down than say the chin, you can bring it in and just actually change it into hair. Otherwise, much better to bring it in as an accessory. Okay, so now it comes in as an accessory. You say, oh, well, that's pretty good. Not as good as what it looked like, but that's not bad. First thing we wanna do is look at the textures on this. So just for the hair, we got the hair. You can see how dense this hair is. It's 300K up here. That's a lot for animation. You're never gonna get this thing to move right in animation at this, at this weight, but we'll adjust that, we'll get to it. But let's first look at the materials here. So you'll notice we have three, the first three materials all share the same maps. They use the base color and no opacity for that, the details, okay? So we can combine all those into one. We know they use the same maps, so it's a good time to combine them all. We'll just call it back detail, that's fine. So now we have one map for that. The next three maps you'll see use different opacity. So they all have the same opacity, but they have an opacity that makes them different from those first three. So again, we can combine them all into one, just a little easier to combine textures. And that way we don't have to deal with so many. Okay, so now we got two textures. This last texture is the skull cap. So we don't wanna change that. We wanna leave that alone, that's fine. And you never really have to change the material on the skull cap, so that's fine. Now, on these, we wanna change these to the digital hair material. And why do we wanna do that? Well, the digital hair material is a lot better. It's got some back highlights and some nice stuff that looks, so we wanna change that to digital human hair. And you'll see immediately that the glow, the light comes through. But you might say, oh Mike, but I see some black dots there. And you sure do. It's this back detail that's really weird. It's these little, uh, calling, causing these black dots. So if we're gonna change this one, for example, to digital human hair, you'll see suddenly those dots show up everywhere. And the back detail actually doesn't add anything to the hair. So this is a case where we can go down into, if we can change this back to just traditional or PBR, it doesn't matter which, and then go in and we'll just turn the opacity all the way off. And you'll notice, yes, there's a little detail that, that disappears, but it doesn't really hurt the hair. So that texture we actually don't need. Okay, so now we have this texture and looking pretty good, it's not that bad. But we still have a problem with this density, 300K. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to take this texture and we'd like to reduce the, uh, the texture on it. So you could save it as it is now, but you're never gonna get hair physics to work on an, an object that that's dense, that that is that, that dense. I always use the recommended settings. If they don't work, you can adjust it and change to your own settings, but recommended settings generally have a good idea on what they're doing and um, you know, I'm all for making things as easy as possible in life. And we'll close that. And so now you can see, now the hair went down to about 90K, much more reasonable to animate this hair. Uh, also, anything under 100K is usually acceptable to try to animate. Now, the last thing you have to do is you have to delete that hidden, see that hidden deletion? If you try to do anything with the hair now, including even adjusting the textures or colors or adding a weight map, it'll crash the system. So got to delete that hidden object and now you have your hair. Now, the last thing you might be saying to me, Mike, is, Mike, well, that's kind of interesting here, but it's not this color. Well, you can look at the digital hairs and how they're colored, and there's lots of different colorations here, and I don't want to try to go through all that, but one of the easiest things to do is just to adjust your base color here, which is coming in as gray. So if we click on this, these are the run, you go to the runtime textures for this particular guy that wrote this hair or created this hair, and there, as you can see, that this map matches up to this map. You see how this map has kind of gra gradu gra gradiated, <laughs> whatever, gra gra graduated. Anyway, it's, it's gradation there. It matches this map. So you can put that map in there and you can see that that's the right color for that hair. So, um, and there you go. So that's how to deal with this hair that's Arlene. 
And then the, the last thing we would do at this case, and I don't think I'm going to do it, so I don't think I have time, uh, but we would add weight maps to this. So we'd go, come in here and uh, actually, wanted, oh, I went to, where did I, did I change this into here? Did I, I changed this back to hair, right, guys? Or did I? Maybe I didn't do that part of it yet. Oh, I didn't I didn't change it to hair. Huh? You guys should have warned me. But we can't talk to you, Mike. Okay, so that's, that's the last step we have to do is actually change it to hair. I'm sorry. We didn't do that part of it. Change it to hair. Now you can go ahead and add physics maps to it. So now you can go in and add weight maps. And remember, we're only gonna we're not gonna worry about the back detail. We're only gonna add it to the back. And basically, you'd use this opacity map. We would just draw a gradient here, and uh, that's all I would do. And the gradient would probably work just fine. Just a uh, black at the top, and then a little bit white here, and that would be our our weight map. So that's about it for this hair. And uh, I will see you guys on the forum.